Iceberg Jam. Back at you with another one. And this is a review of the Pina Rosa with Parmesan crusted chicken. Pina noodles and spicy tomato cream sauce. Parmesan crusted chicken. It does come with mushrooms, but I got it sans mushrooms and I replaced the red onions because I'm not a mushroom kind of guy at this point in time. Always, I just never really cared for the look of mushrooms and also when I've had it I didn't wasn't a fan of the the slimy mushiness kind of texture thing going on with that now I've had mushrooms in a spaghetti sauce where it's little and broken up and you can't really taste anything so I'm not adverse to it but I didn't want that to cloud my judgment of this dish since I'm not into mushrooms and I could be into mushrooms in the future. It was a period of time I didn't like pickles besides the baby Gershons when I was a kid. But once I went to the firehouse subs, maybe the mid to late 2000s, I didn't mind that pickle that came with a sandwich. I would eat some of it just to have a contrast in taste. Now I'm a fan of relish, things of that nature. But I really didn't enjoy pickles until... The butter chips, when I bought that, when I was recreating a couple years back a McRib sandwich, I'm like, you know what? These butter pickles are cool. It's tasty. Good stuff. And I'm like, okay, I do like pickles. I just didn't like those pickles that they had at McDonald's, Burger King, those fast food establishments. With a few exceptions when they had those thicker cut dill pickles, say like a Shake Shack on their sandwich and... And somehow I can tolerate it at times on Chick-fil-A, but I'm really not a pickle guy. But once I get to those bread and butter ones, I'm like, okay, I'm a pickle guy. But now I'm off base. I'm talking about something else. But yeah, it does come with mushrooms. But I got red onions instead. Tomato and spinach top with your choice of Parmesan or feta. I chose Parmesan topping. Looks good. I like the way this looks. See the Parmesan crust of chicken. The pasta the sauces. A nice aroma comes off of this from the Parmesan chicken and I assume the spicy tomato cream sauce. So the smell really comes off of this nicely. Good stuff. Looks like it's going to be flavorful. And I cannot wait to get into this. And I will get into this now. I'm not going to waste any more time. Oh, maybe just tomato and pasta. Okay, I like what they're doing. Pasta, tender noodles, spinach, cheese, Parmesan crusted chicken. Works well. Come with red onions. I'm happy with this. Flavorful. Now I'm not picking up on much spice from the Pina Rosa. Because it's a little kick there. I like this cheese on it. I like the penne noodles. Parmesan crusted chicken. Very tasty. I like this dish. This is the first dish I really enjoy from News and Company. Now, I'm not too sure of the calorie count. I did order this by way of Uber Eats. It has a range of 360 to 730 calories. Obviously, the higher calorie, 700 some. 
would probably be for the large size and closer to 360 for this smaller size. As when I compare the calories, it's the outright Pina Rosa. That's on the Newton Cole website. You get the small bean 350 and the regular bean 700. And I'm sure this Parmesan crusted is crusted chicken is more than a few calories. So I can't figure out exactly what this calorie count is at this time. But if I figure it out, I'll add it to the video. But yeah, I'm happy with this. Good stuff. Good again to see myself going to New England Company for this. Finally found a dish I really enjoy. I assume I probably like the Alfredo dish that they have as well. And I might get that in the future whether I review it on this channel or not. So, yeah, good stuff. Worth a try. I like the flavors, I like the combination, I like what they're doing over here. And that's all that needs to be said. Iceberg Jim out. Deuces.